Hey, 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 ladies and gents, it's your awesome as Brandon Plan, and we are back here for days 11 through 20 of my Thousand Days in Zomboid series. I want to thank you for all the support that you guys have shown. We are almost to 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1920, and if you guys would like to be able to show your support, hit that like, ring that bell, share it with people, and we'll get to 2,500 by April on my birthday. Thanks again. We are on day 11 with Jack and Kenny here. 76 pounds. Hey, hey, hey. We're no longer underweight. Kind of nice. It is 12.30. We slept in a little bit. Um, let's eat a thing of ice cream. I need to figure out where we are going to go today. So we are right here. I kind of want to get over to these stores over here. So we're going to work our way up the street here. There's a couple stores here. This was the grocery store, which I probably should have marked that. I should be marking things as I go because it's just going to make it a lot easier to be able to identify where's what, especially since I don't know Raven Creek. So, 12.50, but let's get going. Uh, I just kind of want to go over here real quick to spill, see what is over there, because, oh, shoot. Um, the rain is going to bring them. Let's do this. I'm not, just not even going to mess around. We need to get going. The other thing I need to do is I need to secure the parking lot around the building. Because securing the parking lot around the building will be big. Because I need to start working on vehicles. Um, because I want to get that bus fully outfitted for once I do leave Raven Creek. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. Oh, shit. They are coming from the woodwork. Okay. Oh, something tells me it's going to get a lot deeper on those zombie kills. I'm going to go ahead and guess they're all coming from these apartments up here. Oh, there's a video store! Alright, something to fight for. That's what I was worried about. The light sources are freaking terrible for this. Um, the other thing that I probably should mention, I do have desensitized, become desensitized turn on. Whoa, shit. Um, it is way, way further on. Like, I believe high end it is, or excuse me, low end it's like 3,000 zombies. I think it's like 3,000 to 6,000 or something like that. Fighting a lot of, oh my god, this is going to be a freaking battle and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the plus side is if I get sick, I get sick. Now, here's the thing is, the reason why I'm doing this is because if I get sick because of the rain, the video store, or it'll allow me to be able to kind of ride out the sickness. Busy day 11 already, right? Remove the broken glass. What do we have in here? All right, we have Woodcraft, Cook Show, Cook Show. There's one zombie. We got some Cook Show. We got some freaking nice. We got Woodcraft six. Nice. Take care of this boy first. We got another Woodcraft. We walk out of this with possible Fitness Club. I don't know if that does anything. Three episodes of the Cook Show and four episodes of Woodcraft. So that's not bad at all. Let's go. The problem with anything in this area is you need a sledgehammer to get into anything. Like, look at this. This is all locked down as well. I'm kind of doing the exploration thing. There's a laundromat over here. And I wouldn't mind clearing these streets a little bit. The rain is lighting up quite a bit. I have no idea what that... I have to figure out what that is. It's blue. That looks like that could be a police station. Oh, sh Nikes! No. Oh, my God. It is a police station. Oh, 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 oh! That is the 998! That is the 998! Okay? I didn't expect that. A little bit. All right, there we go. I also believe we are up to short blunt 5, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're up to short blunt 5. Engine is only 9%. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with this. Alarm. Okay. I'm always worried about alarms when I see garages open. Safety goggles, no. Um, probably gonna take this hand torch just because I can break it down for electric. Damn, does the police station look good? There's gotta be a gas station. Oh my god. Okay. Never mind. We might just grab one of these cars. Replace this. We're gonna see if we can't get these open. Oh, it's okay. You can't just open up one end. I'm an idiot. 
please open. All right. Really sucks that the that the rain started up again, but let's go clear this area. I see some shotguns. Yes. Oh my god, the freaking rain just barreled down. Um, M500 shotgun. Alright, oh, there's a key in the car. No gas, though. Let's clean these zombies out here real quick. There's gonna be a lot of zombies in here, isn't there? Alright. Oh, you have a freaking... Oh, shit! Oh my god, wow. Okay, you're too spread out. Alright, we want you to come up like one at a time. Oh my god. What? I was gonna say. Come on now. I've gotta be really careful. Be come here. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right, good. I'd handle baton. I'm actually kind of curious what this thing does. Do I dare? I think I dare. All right, yes, I dare. All right, I cannot see. I cannot see a damn thing. We gotta go back up here. We're gonna go back up here just because I cannot see. The light is freaking terrible. Oop, one came up with me. Honestly, this baton's pretty nice. We're feeling a little bit better, I think. We're feeling a little bit better. Apparently, we're moist inside, which is... Okay. Oh my god. No freaking way. First of all, box of nails. Score. That was Jenny. I'm only going to be able to grab that as I'm going out. Oh, we actually have an armory here. Oh, it's a shooting range. That's actually kind of neat. We're going to run back down here, and I'm just going to hope that I can find a freaking light switch. There it is. There it is. Light switch. All right. Ooh. All right. Now it's a little bit better. I can actually see. And now I know why they all came from there. Oh my god, they all broke out of the jail cells. Wow. Police motorcycle helmet. Would that be better than what we have? Insulation, wind resistance, I think it is. Yeah, that's better. That's better. All right. Clearly the armory. A Swedish AK-5C with an extended stock. Bushmaster AR-15. <laughs> This is probably going to be a bad idea. It's 2.50 in the morning. I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of hungry. I'm way overwhelmed. Way overexerted. But we're going to try. Goodbye. We need to get back a freaking sap. Alright, well, hopefully, hopefully I can get back like this. All right, so we're finally getting back home. All right, whew, we did make it back. I'm gonna drop that down right here. I just need to get this stuff off me right now. I really need to secure this building before I go to sleep. In order to do that, I need my sledge. And an escape rope. There we are. Stairs are gone. We are secure for the building itself. I'm just really hoping we don't have like a lot of zombies waiting on us. Does not seem like we do, and we are we are secure. What's that? The escape rope. All right, we are fully secure. We do not have to worry about zombies kind of cluttering up on us or anything else. So we're gonna place our sledge back over there. It's ten forty in the morning, so this might just be a skip day. I still have not slept. Um, actually, we're probably gonna watch some videos, read some books up until that point, and then what we're gonna do is sleep it away.
All right, yeah, I think that's enough. We're just going to go ahead and end this day 11, day 12 run, and we're going to see you back for day 13. Oh, boy. Well, we are on to a new day. As you can see, we are now 12 days, 3 hours in, which means we are on to day 13. So I've got a plan. I just came back from the police station, and I'm actually thinking of moving there. All right, so we are currently right here. This is the police station. Right over here, right over somewhere over here, I believe I saw a gas station. If there's a gas station right across the street, that means I could work on quite a few things. The police station is all fenced in except for one little area, and then I can knock out things. So I think that might be the best option for me. We are going to expend our day going to the police station. I could probably take that truck. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, the brakes on this are absolutely terrible. Slowly yet surely. Get this truck over there. Please get it all the way over there. Can I just... Nope. Oh, no. Please tell me I didn't kill the truck. All right. I think I killed the truck. That's a great way to be able to start the day. Yep, the engine's 0%. Well, there's two cars in the... Oh! Trailer! Damn, I did not realize there was a trailer right here. Freak, which means it's about to get really... Oh, fuck, it's about to get really nasty. Oh, crap. Nope. Oh, don't you dare. Because you cannot. Goodbye. Alright, so this is the police station that I was talking about. Alright, we've got a couple vehicles in here. Alright, that's locked. This one's locked. Hello. All right, this one is open. It has a key. I just need gas. So, a couple things I want to do is obviously clear these bad boys out of the way. The lag that freaking Raven Creek can cause when zombies are clearly, like, loading to the building. Because Raven Creek does not have a lot of zombies on the Well, I should say, not a lot of zombies, but there's a decent amount of zombies on the roads. Um, but they're mostly in the buildings. So which is why you saw so many of them come out of the buildings. So what I want to do, please tell me this is a gas station. Yes, it is. Cool. There we are. All right. We're going to hope that there is a gas can. And we can eat while we're there. Alright, ooh. Alright. Come on. Damn. Remove that broken glass. Get in here. Give me some food. Give me some food. Uh, not pop. I need food, food, food. Not pop. Come on. We'll take the dehydrated meat stick, because that'll actually fill us up. Ah, oh, we'll take some snow gloves as well. It'll only be one. Alright. Hey, cigarettes, granola bars, yummy. Alright. What do we have here? Please tell me there's an empty gas can. Oh, thank Jeebus is we'll take this fuel into the empty gas can. I guess I could have used any type of water bottle or something like that. And we will now be able to fill up that police cruiser. Add gasoline. Nice, 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 nice. Good stuff. Hey, there we go. Oh, we got a police car. Nice. We do need to clear all this out of the way. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I think this is going to be a much better location than the building that I was in. Especially since we actually have a gas station across the street from us. I got in the back seat again, damn it. Alright. 
directly over here, we're probably gonna run into a lot of zombies. That freaking trailer should be huge. Oh my god, I did say we were gonna run into a lot of zombies, didn't I? I don't remember where I lost the vehicle at. I think I lost the vehicle. We're gonna have to clear a lot of zombies. That's okay. Oh my god, how am I supposed to... Dear lord, I'm gonna have to clear these roads big time. I'm gonna try to sneak... Ah. Not sneaky enough. Definitely not sneaky enough. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, oh my god, these roads are freaking awful. Hey, guys. Guys, over here. Think. Think. Oh, this is gonna suck. Alright. I need to be very, very smart about this. I think we're gonna go back here. Maybe if I go up, maybe I can get past there. Well, that worked. Let's try not to ruin my police car while I got it, right? Alright, maybe I can't. Either or, we'll figure it out. Oof, da, come on. If I go around the back of greens, I think they'll be fine. If I go around the back of here, we should be fine. It'd be a nightmare to be able to freaking get this thing out. Oh my god. What was I thinking? What do I got in the back of this thing? I don't even think I can attach this. Yeah, I can't even attach this. What do I got in the back of this thing? 104 pounds worth of stuff. Yeah, I definitely need to get out of there. This was like the worst spot to build a breakdown at. All right, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to just loot or switch everything over. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. All right, we're not going to be able to transfer everything on that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to the back seat here. We're going to try to transfer everything that we can to this back seat. The only jukebox I can probably just carry on me and the deep cycle batteries I can put in my backpack. So what I'm going to do is give me the only jukebox. We're done? We're done. All right. We're just going to take the stuff back to the base. I don't know how I'm going to clear things out. Oh, my God. So many of them, and they're just gonna follow me, and I know they will. So I'll take the, I'll take the trailer, and I'll take the police car over there to be able to grab all the stuff from the other place to be able to come here. There's a lot of zombies walking around, and I just realized why I couldn't see crap. The headlights on. No, you don't. Go down. And I am way overweight right now because of the jukebox. I need to get this inside. Alright. We got the jukebox here. Couple batteries here, which I will just toss on the ground for now. Alright, so we have some beef jerky here. I'll just use that beef jerky. Um, I believe the sledgehammer is over at the old base, so I will need to switch everything over. Shoot. They're gonna come in here. I was gonna say they don't seem to be messing with the gate, but they are definitely coming over here. I don't want them to bite, beat down this gate, which they would have if I would have just left them. I don't want you to beat down the barricades either, though. I gotta kill them, too. 
Which there's a lot of them. Oh my god. Okay. Place that there. What I'm trying to do is make a semi like corridor where they would have to go around to be able to get to this area. Bum 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 bum. You know what? I'll just loot everything I possibly can because we're just going to bring it inside. Shoot. That's what I was afraid of. And now I'm using my hammer. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me a shotgun, though. I appreciate it. So we've got a lot to do. We've got to get all the zombies out of here. There was one. Oh. My. Okay. They're going to go directly for the gate. No, 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 no. Okay, Ooh, I managed to open the gate first. I need to get into some light, because I can't see anything. Oh, way too close, especially with getting tired. Part of the reason why I went with short blunt, just point because of the fact that short blunt doesn't wear you out as quickly, and allows you to be able to have these longer fights. Oh, they're still coming. I thought I saw something over here, but once again, I can't see... Oh, shit! Oh, wow! That gave me a first heart attack, like, seriously. That was too close. Damn, they keep on coming. Like, look at this. You're banging and attracting them. How many zombies are in this freaking area? Come on, now. Oh my god, there's one in back. There's actually a zombie in the back. I did not real. I thought this was a secure area. Oh, there's more than one. There's three. There's totally more zombies inside, isn't there? That's the reason why I have keen hearing on a lot of my characters, is just so we can hear them. And it's 4.10 in the morning, we're getting really, really tired. We seem to be clear. Alright, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna go to sleep and call it a day. That was a very eventful day 13. Day number 14. 362 zombies killed. Um, the plan today is, um, so I want to get everything over here. So... We are right here right now. I The gas station is over here, which I should probably mark that, right? Let's mark it with a drop. There we go. Trailer is right here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to empty the car out completely to the interior of the police station. And then go get that trailer and go back to the apartment and grab everything from there. I just want to check to be able to make sure... <sighs> just don't stop coming. Yeah, the thing that is that you screwed up. I'm rested now. Which means I'm gonna beat your head in. Because they're coming around the freaking barriers. Dude, they freaking just do not. Stop. Oh my god, more. What is attracting them to me? I do not want them destroying this gate because while I can rebuild it, I'm a ways away from being able to rebuild it, and I'd rather have this kind of it as a secure inner area. We are gonna grab all of this, bring it all inside. Shove the chairs in a vending machine. There we go. Just like your mama taught you. Yay. More zombies it's 
just a non-stop. Look at this. All right, so we gotta go. How many friends? Oh my god. Just leave me alone. Seriously? Now this this is gonna get kinda nasty because clearly there's a lot of them. Oh what the hell? What did I hit? Oh I didn't realize there was this many zombies over here. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to play it safe. We're switching the axe. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. The splitting axe is one of the... It is a really heavy hit on it. Whoa! That was close. Oh my god, there's... Holy... This is what I'm talking about, how this can get really, really bad because of how many zombies come into the buildings. So many zombies come from the buildings. Shoot. We need to take these beta blockers ASAP. All right. Ooh, duh. Oh my god. Okay. Lessening the crowd a little bit. Oh shit! Oh god! Wow! Lesson, life lesson in this game. Don't just keep on walking backwards without checking your surroundings. I do it way too often. The good news is, you guys are actually all kind of lined up a little bit now. angle and we're getting freaking exhausted yay all right we're gonna slow you guys down a little bit all right come here and caught up on that. Nice. This is a superpower in this game. Hiding zombies around the corners and then crouching as you run the other way can get rid of a lot of zombies. Look at how many of them are down there. Alright. Would allow me to be able to take on a much more reasonable number of these. I think we lost that entire group ahead of us. Whoa. 
Oh, yeah, I saw you coming. Alright, this is about to break. Back to choppy choppy. Did that seriously just have a freaking. Oh my god, the meta events that are happening right now are ridiculous. Oh shit, no. I was aimed the opposite way. Too tired for this. All right. Ooh. All right, we got it. Nice. We take care of the zombie and then go sit in that vehicle. Just keep in mind. They're coming from the top floors, not only from the convenience marts, but they're coming from those top floors. His endurance is going to become an issue here, real quick. All right, we're going to sit there for a little bit, blow the smoke, real quick. No, we won't. Since the zombie apparently did not want to let me have a cigarette. However, my endurance is up to a decent amount now. And we only pulled three, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, that's a freaking medical clinic. Oh, that's actually kind of huge. Can I hit you? I was going to say. I should not be able to hit... Even though it shows green, I should not be able to hit you through that. Alright, well, we are getting to the point. Oh my god, never mind. More broke out. Damn, man. Oh, my God, that's a clown. Screw you. I... I just want to connect that trailer, sir. Thank you. Can I even get into it? Yes, and it has 280 space. Yes, that's huge. We got a trailer. And we'll take a left here. I'm going to have to work on clearing these roads big time. So this is the former base. We're moving out of. We are at 2120. We got a lot of space to be able to do. All right. We need food. Close this good entire thing of ice cream. And then we will go ahead and call it for day 14. Long day. We'll see you guys for day 15. We are on to day 15. Unfortunately, we woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning. But what I'm going to do is we're just going to start 
everything is going to start going into that trailer and into that car and we're just going to be bringing it over all right let's take a look around to make sure that we are clear it looks like we are what i'm going to do is transfer this all into the trailer what we want to do is also bring the sledge with us but i do not want to keep it in with the other stuff there i want to kind of keep it solo so we're going to put it in the right rear seat and then we're going to keep on going back and forth loading this in this is going to be day 15 it's going to be getting all this stuff loaded up i pick this up without breaking it of course i can't we've unloaded a lot of stuff in here already and we've still got like 220 space in there Because everything second floor and above is secured in this building, so it's somewhere that I can use later on. Alright, so we've emptied out a lot. Let's get something to eat. Get that ice cream. We're just going to go out and eat that ice cream. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to figure out the way out of friggin' Raven Creek, and I'm going to try to clear the whole zone between the police station and there. That way, when I am ready to leave Raven Creek, because the plan is to be able to go from Raven Creek to St. Paulo's Hammer to Louisville, so I'm going to be spending like 300 days in each. Okay, that's not good. But we can keep all this stuff here as like a, just in case we need to base up here eventually um, again. All right, so we're not going to talk about the amount of booze that is in this apartment. All right, so we are clear so far. All right, we're up to 216 out of 280. We might be able to get everything out of here in that one trailer. Get these water bottles. Actually, I'll probably put the water bottles in my satchel. Rice, pasta. You know, as a emergency, why don't we have a pot with water there and... We'll keep a bag of dried lentils here. And those ramen noodles, we'll leave three bottles of water here as like a backup plan, just in case I need to come back up here. Take dinner. Apparently I can. Okay. Well, if that's the case, we found a better place. We'll come back to be able to ransack the rest of apartments and leave that one as a backup here. Um, what I need to do is get this damn jet off me. Thank you. All right, we're going to transfer all this because it's not perishable. The trailer is full. 280 pounds worth of space taken up. We're going to take the thing and copy with us just in case. If it gets particularly spicy when we get back over there, I'm going to need to not be drowsy. All right, well, you guys asked for it. Just saying. You asked for that too, dear lord. Did you enjoy getting run over by a truck? Hmm? It's a good thing I took that coffee. It just never ends with you guys, does it? Let's just get all this non perishable stuff in the refrigerator and the freezer. I'm going to secure the building first. Zombies cannot be freaking trusted. We're going to need another quarter of this. Then we're going to have to go out, take out that one and then that group to the right. Because you can't be trusted to stop stalking me. Not like I can file a restraining order on you. I don't think you guys would follow it even if I did it. Boundaries, guys. Boundaries. Let's get back in here to grab the key. So first, what I need to do, we'll just make a hole in the floor. Now what I need is to destroy a couple desks here. 
But what I need more than anything right now is planks and nails. So let's just get planks. You know what? We'll take the bonsai tree. All right, that should be enough. I should be able to tear some sheet ropes off of these guys. Then what I will do is add an escape rope. Yay. Now, I can destroy the stairs. Alrighty. Okay, right there. There we are. We are secure. Alright. Let's hear this, though. And there we are. It's nice to know that at least going into day 16, we are secure. This is the end of another day here. Day 15 is over. We will be moving on to day number 16. We will see you guys. We are on to day number 16. So, as you guys know, there is a huge trailer right out front. Um, So, I think it's going to be kind of a around-the-home type day. Bring everything in. I am going to tear apart all the desks. Secure every single window. Right now, we don't have any zombies out here, which is a first, it seems like. As of now, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of uh, speed it up quite a bit. Son of a uh, biscuits. I'm literally up here, no one around, and they busted down. You're the one that alerted me. They freaking busted down the gate. And it was a spiffle that busted down the gate. Oh, Nikes. Come on now. Now here's the thing that's crazy about this is. Grab this crate. Really? Oh my god. Trying to save this gate is going to be the biggest nightmare ever. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to place that here. Thank you. This is a bummer. This is such a bummer. I guess let's get back to it. Alright, well, we have everything in now. It is 2340, which means that it is 940 at night. I'm gonna wash up, get something to eat, and then we will see you back for day number 17. Alright, we will see you guys. Day 17. 465 zombies killed with weapon, one with car. Gonna be a couple things I'm gonna wanna try to work on. One, I need to try to get a ring collector up. Two, I need to break down these desks as much as possible. This is going to be a yet another kind of uh, around the base day. And the only reason why it is is because clearly it's just disgusting out here. See this? It's just freaking disgusting out here. Might as well take care of them. Get them done with. They... Right, there is something over here that is continuing. Oh my god. I just realized that. Well, I know where I'm going to use my, my metal working at. Holy crap. <laughs> the washer, that, that's a laundromat warehouse. 
All right, we're going to get back to kind of just destroying everything in here. So, I feel a lot more secure with those, what, seven windows triple barricaded now up front. Let me go ahead and take a look back here. Well, we're not going to have to worry about running out of water anytime soon. We've got tons of backups on water. We have down here another desk that we can take apart. Get some doors in there as well. Another desk in here. What do we got in here? I kind of want to leave this as is, even though I do know that I can take these apart for electrical. I kind of want to leave this as is because this is, looks really cool as a room, honestly. And it's behind two security doors, anyways. Um, what do we got back here? Oh! Oh! 357 uh, Magnum. Oh my god. A medium ammo caster for shotgun shells. 12 gauge shotgun shells. 10 boxes of shotgun shells. 556. There's another box of shotgun shells. So that's 12 boxes of shotgun shells so far. All right, let's just go ahead and get this barricaded up a little bit. And it's coming down out there. All right. So we can only barricade two to move them this time. These downstairs areas are not going to mean a lot to me because we've got plenty of space upstairs. We're not going to need the desk. So I'm just going to keep the one over here with the balloon on it. Uh, let's keep the one over here with the balloon on it. And that is it. Um, other than that, we will go ahead and just break the rest of these down. Oh, that was a level of carpentry. What did we get up to here? Holy cripes, we are almost at carpentry 10. We're working our way towards it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with two planks on everything and then come back. Just to be able to give something because there's a lot of windows down. Two more after this. What do we got? All right. So those are all double barricaded. They're the only windows that are not triple barricaded other than the front doors. I think I'm going to take down this front desk because it's just in my way anyways. Which, what's important about these triple barricades is they kind of act like, like a sheet over the window. They block out the view. Once I get the chance to be able to do some metal working on the outside and I get metal sheets, I will probably put metal sheets on the outside of the windows. So we got a lot of stuff done today. We'll drop our four planks off here. So we know those are for a rain collector. All right, we are getting late. We are getting late, 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 late. Eat some of these chocolate covered beans and we'll eat one of these fruit jams, which would have take care of a lot of it. We'll take care of the unhappiness. We'll take care of everything else. And then I'm going to go ahead and call it for day 17 here. All right. I will see you guys for day 18. It is day 18, ladies and gents. And for some reason, I slept like crazy. My character was utterly exhausted after everything. And I needed that sleep. So what I want to do is I want to start taking apart all those cars. And if you see that fence line where their zombies are at right now, they just passed where the blockades are. I want to make a fence line from there all the way over. There's a propane torch. Um, we need to tear all those cars apart on the road there. Take over the road. Oh, a couple of you all. Oh, we're gonna get you over here. How about that? Whoa, can we not? Can you get off of my container? Oh, this is part of the reason why I want to get rid of all this, because the fact is they all seem to be coming from this way. All right, dismantle the vehicle. We should be able to get a decent amount from this. I don't have a metal workbench right now, though. 
so that will be something that I'll work on. All right, so I can get through about four cars without filling a propane torch up, but luckily we have the gas station here, and I do have the mob where you can refill propane at gas stations because it only makes sense. Part of the reason why I'm clearing this road the way I am is so I can get that trailer past all this crap. All right, so we tore apart another four vehicles. I think that'll be interesting. I think that'll be interesting. Um, oh, hey, we have a big group over there. But we're gonna take on this horde. Might as well get it out of the way. We gotta secure our area, you know. We need to split these up a little bit. I'm still not to that point. Alright, we'll come back around. That is that. Damn. All right. Well, that horde is taken care of. We're starting to get tired. We're hungry. And to look inside the gas station, I opened it up, so we should be able to get some hunger stuff in here as well. Yeah, we'll have some red licorice. We're thirsty as well, so hey, we'll drink a pop. I want to get over into this area to be able to see what is there, because I have yet to see a grocery store. Well, I, I suppose I do see grocery stores, but like tiny ones, like good, or like greens and stuff like that. I don't see, oh, come on, really? That was kind of baloney. You didn't lunge until I came at you, and then you magically lunged up. We got a, so it's a furnishings place. Damn. Yeah, it's just a furnishings place. Damn. Honestly, not a bad little, like, location base. <gasps> You're not freaking Mart! I know what we're doing tomorrow. I know what we're doing tomorrow. Um, let's take out these guys real quick, and then I will go back. We are going to have to bring the trailer to Gigamart, and we will load up. Load up on all the foods that we can, and probably grab a refrigerator, maybe some freezers. Um... There's a Spippo's over there. Oh, it's the movie theater! Oh, there's another police car. Oh, there's another police car over here, and I only see a couple zombies, so we'll take those out real quick. You actually look like you're in fantastic condition. That's the reason why I'm interested. We're gonna have to get back soon. I might stop in the Gigamart, grab something to eat real quick. I'm just curious. What is... This, this police car looks amazing, that's what I'm saying. It's 54, so it's not bad. It has gas. So, obviously, tomorrow is going to be a Gigamart day. We are going to grab everything we can from the Gigamart. I am going to stop at it right now because, as you can see, my Moodle is up top. I'm hungry and actually thirsty. <laughs> Oh, snakies. Always check your surroundings. I need a bottle of water. Thank you. I need a bottle of water. There's some cheese. There's meat that's actually still good. The stale stuff I'll leave. But, like, the fresh ham? There was bologna that was fresh? If I would have known this was this close, I would have grabbed it and got it already. Um, we'll take these chocolate cookies. What I'm going to do 
is because I have space in my bag, we are just going to grab the refrigerated stuff real quick. Wait, is he at the window or is he back there? They're at the window. Yep. No, oh, maybe not. Totally thought they were at the window. I don't know where they are. Oh, well. All right, well, now we know where the Gigabart is. Um, Let's get back to base. Let's get back to base with all this, this good, good food, and we will call it for day 18. And this was an effective day. We were able to find... We were able to kill a lot of zombies. We were able to get this road cleared and start working on metalworking stuff. Um, and then on top of that, we were able to get a ton of fresh food. What the hell was that noise? That was, uh, that was kind of scary, guys. All right, we're going to get upstairs. We are going to get our stuff put away. We're going to eat a little bit, and we are going to get to sleep. We will see you guys for day number 19. All right, day 19, 9.30, 9.40 in the morning. It's starting to rain. Of course, it's starting to rain. Why wouldn't it be starting to rain? We are going to get out there whether it's raining or not and we are going to get that trailer over to the gigamart that is our goal for today all right i was going to try to turn this around but freaking the trailer's huge oh hey we're done oh we got it nice or not damn uh yeah that's not gonna work needless to say i am not good at moving trailers in this game because it kind of uses real life mechanics, kind of not. So usually you have to take really wide berths. All right, there we are. There we are. We're gonna get to the Gigamarts. We're gonna get to the Gigamarts. What the? I was around the. What the hell is going on? It's two spaces. I should be able to fit a car and a trailer through it, but apparently not. You know what? We're just gonna place this over here. All right, let's get over to the Gigamart. Can I sneak between the cars? I didn't think about this one. I think I can sneak between the cars. Yes, I can. Oh. Hello. And then we will go over here. It is time. Let's just go through the area first. I won't become one of them. So we have a zombie over here. I saw two more over there as well. Alright, so there's two here. Alright, here they come. Oh my god, they more than one of them. Okay. Alright, come on, guys. there was oh nice honestly not a bad like little base oh my god where the hell did you come from now they're upstairs aren't they oh there was the broken window bandit jacket with a hoodie Ah, huh. you know what i'm gonna wear that and see what it looks like it's big I like it, though. I like it, though. Especially since I'm pretty sure our jacket or our hoodie, yeah, had a hole in it. Let's get downstairs. Let's see what we got here. We got some canned evaporated milk. We'll take everything here except for that sack of eggplants, which we will just empty out. Gummy worms. Now let's go to this back room real quick. And, uh, all right, I will let you guys know if there's anything special. All right, we are getting out here with our first load. We were able to pick up a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Dude, if we walk out of here with freaking 280 pounds of freaking food, it'll be crazy. Back to grabbing stuff.
Um, so my trailer is full. Uh, should I just stick it out? I think I should just stick it out because we're almost done. We've got a couple more, couple more shelves to be able to do. All right, well, we are almost done here. As you can see, we are getting tired. We're hungry, which is kind of funny. Oh, nice. Little hand axe. And farming volume four. We'll take it. And a trowel. We'll take it. Um, so someone did mention to me that you can find a sledgehammer in a Gigamart, which I have never seen, but that would be kind of interesting. Gigamart is cleared. So we will put that on the map. I was actually kind of shocked this was even a Gigamart in the first place. So we are done with Gigamart. Um, you'll never need to come back here again, uh, especially since I won't need to work on Carpenter here. That's 74 pounds and shrinking. Interesting. Hopefully we do not have any problems driving back. So tomorrow, as I, after I put the stuff away, um, tomorrow we are going to need to get back to really, really kind of uh, getting that metal working going because I need that fence done. Um, so we don't have non-perishables in here. I might just leave the stuff in here and then take it out tomorrow. All right, first toss that there, then we'll toss the roadblock down here just to be able to block it off for the night. All right. And we are going to get up and we're going to start putting the stuff away. Uh, tomorrow will be a put away and... I don't know. I, I think I'm going to put away and then I'm probably going to try to get around the town and kind of see we're going to open up the map a little bit. Because the fact is, we still don't know what's over here. And I really need to figure out what is over here first before we get that. All right, I'm going to get this stuff put away, get some sleep. All right, we'll see you for day 20. We have day 20 here. Still can't walk that way. What I'm going to do is this electric stuff that's on the bottom here, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble that really quickly. All right, let's get our butts out there. And I just kind of want to figure things out. Not worried about what's in the trailer right now. The reason why we're going to do this is because otherwise it's just going to be packing stuff all freaking day. And I'm pretty sure we don't want to do that. A 1300 start, it would be, yeah, we. it would be the whole day would be unpacking. All right, that's a hotel. A walk and rolls, time too short, another huge trailer. That might come in handy. It's 341 space. I'm just curious what you have on you, lady. And, you know, clearing the roads and stuff. Ooh, don't you dare. Yeah, we're becoming a wrecking ball, especially with this freaking short blunt. Short blunt is nearly level six. Yeah, we're starting to... It's it's not quite there, but it is getting there. What the hell type of zombie is that? Okay, it's just a regular one. This is really, really dark. No, the plus side is is if I can get a good short blunt item, like there's different types of batons out there. Alright, so there's a nice Bronco down here. Lots of zombies over there. Oh, trailer. Can't get in there. Alright. What do we got? Oh, there's a truck. Alright. Let's clear. I have no problem with Clearing tons of zombies. I do not like the fact that we can't see behind us because of these, some of these angles on these buildings. Kind of a pain in the butt. So that's the other store. That's a motel. I have to watch out because there might be a ton of zombies in there. Yeah, there are. Oh, is this an arcade? Cool! 
okay. So I'm going to keep on going. That looks like a Spippo's. Oh, the guns and ammo, it says. The top hanger. That's a bar with a lot of freaking zombies. There's a reason why I angled this way. Ooh, shnikes. You have to be really, really careful because... Oh, I can't see behind this building. I don't like that. I don't like that. That zombie, like, disappeared on me. Oh, had me worried. Eh, it's gonna be a busy day of kills. We gotta lower the population of Raven Creek a little bit, you know? They're just continuing from different areas. It's not too bad because the streets are never busy in Raven Creek. Um because I'm pretty sure they're all in the buildings. This guns and ammo thing has me kinda interested. We're gonna continue going at top hanger. What is on the corner here? Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies is what's on the corner there. It's an army surplus! Oh wait a second, we're right over by the freaking movie theater. Wait. Does it mean we cleared? I'm super confused. And that's an army surplus store, which means it has ammo and guns. No maps from what I'm interested in. I'm kind of interested in... Alright, there's more there. Can we get more? Not too worried about this. So this might be like a secondary base location. Whoa, what the hell? Was that all guns? There's a guy inside. Oh, there's... That seemed like a lot inside. Oh. Okay. Well, if you guys want to help me get out... If you guys help me in... Oh, God. This would be a find. Where the hell did they go to? Oh, they busted the door, but it's still... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Is there a way in through the... Oh, my God. Killing me. You're freaking killing me. Oh, it's a floating star. You're in here. All right, just a waiting room. A dirt bike helmet with goggles that is actually legitimately huge. I still hear zombies. Oh, you're in the freaking corner. I did not know where that was at all. I didn't hear it. There is no way in this way. I have no idea where I am. So a little sports ball pitch. Where are we? Oh. Oh. 
Oh my. Okay. Well, guess you wanted to play sports ball. Let's play some games, shall we? It's not, oh my god! Crap, I can't see underneath there! Ah, I hate billboards. I hate billboards. You can't see on billboards. And it's... Oh, just a nightmare. Alright, so we're splitting them up a little bit. We'll bring them over here. Okay. Alright, need to split them up a little bit more. Use the splitting max until it's done. You guys keep on freaking coming four deep. Damn. Or a cigarette. Deserved it after that for sure. It's 2030. I probably should get back, but I want to see what's over here. Whoa. Where? Oh, I was going to say, where? Now can I finally see what is over here? I really wish I had the ladders mod at this point. Yeah, I have no idea what this building is. It has no windows, though. But clearly has a lot of zombies in it. Alright, so let me kind of come over here real quick. There's a greens, there's a book naked over here. Oh, yeah, that's huge. We totally, like, lost those other zombies as well. Oh, warehouse with a lot of zombies in there. Okay, yeah. All I want to do is mark the map here. All right, so this is warehousing like crazy, so we are going to need to get over there. So we have figured out this is our home base right here. The Gigamart, the movie theater. There's the gun store. Well, I should say it's the... It's not the gun store, but you know what I mean. Are we close to the area where you can get out? I'm curious as to where we are. Why? Why does it always have to be groups of zombies? Alright. Whoa! Nikes! Oh, that's the group that I lost before. Oh, okay, that's the group that I lost before. We're not going to take the risk right now. It is 22-20. We're going to get going. 
We have plenty of zombies to be able to kill. Clearly, there's a lot of zombies on the road still. Um, but they're in the buildings. That's where they all are, is they're massively in the buildings. Ooh, well, we were able to figure out where a lot of things are, and it kind of gives us what we're going to be doing for the next 10 days here. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm curious. Oh, lights are back on. Nice. It is a good time to be able to say sayonara, and we'll be back with day 21. All right. Oh my god. Really? Screw you. All right. We will get upstairs, we will get some stuff put away, um, get some sleep, and we will see you back for day 21. This is, ooh, an eventful day. An eventful day. You know, now that we're up here, we'll kind of go over our plan. Um, so in the next couple episodes, you guys will see me once again, Sledgehammer, get the army surplus there. We will go through the warehouse area, and then we will start working on securing this area right here by putting a fence here meaning that this area over here is basically secure going forward we won't have things sneaking up us this is a lot this is a lot bye-bye